welcome to my channel, Hey Jess. Today I really want to talk about amazing products for summer, for hair and for body. Not makeup today, just strictly hair and body products only. Before I get started, let me tell you a little bit about myself and why you should even listen to the summer products that I actually enjoy. Uh, my name is Jessica. Most people call me Jess, hence the uh, channel name Hey Jess. But uh, I've been collecting makeup for the better half of like 10 to 15 years and I've tried a litany of products. It's sort of a hobby of mine slash weakness. And I've also worked for some makeup companies just behind the counters working for some makeup companies, nothing crazy. Uh, but I've, I've had the opportunity to try so many brands and so many products and formulas and I've also barely tapped the surface. So my obsession with all things beauty is just going to continue. Uh, regardless, anyway, so um, I have quite a bit of makeup experience and then I also have a huge arsenal of makeup. I am in no way, shape or form a beauty guru. I am not here to tell you specific techniques and show you amazing things that I know how to do because I really don't. So it's just really uh, my personal experience of products and things that I have learned or have tried over the past. Um, and I want to hear everyone else's feedback too. So um, just kind of a give and take and hear about more products. Anyway, all that aside, let's get into the first thing. So this is my go-to summer hair. This is, I'm busy, my hair is dirty, and I need to still have a style in my hair because that's just the kind of person I am. And so this is this look that I usually go for. I normally have like thin, kind of flat, straight hair. So whenever I make it like this, I just feel like super full of volume for summer and I love it. Uh, the way that I get this is usually A, uh, five days of dirty hair or less, sometimes two to three, and a few products and one very amazing tool that is going to be the first thing that I'm gonna talk about. This Revlon Weaver. I've had this puppy for many years and it has never failed me. I've never bought another one, you can kind of tell, because it's always working for me. And I can literally do my hair the night before and I don't, my hair doesn't normally hold curl very well. And I can do my hair the night before and it will last me for like three days and I can just like touch up little pieces. Um, and then I have this, which is like full of volume. Everyone asks me, oh my gosh, where'd you get your mermaid hair? Blah, blah, blah. This, this is what gives me mermaid hair. Secondly, the products that can additionally help the mermaid hair because it doesn't just happen magically like that are a few things. I'm a big time sea salt kind of gal. I feel like summer is just like all about the beach hair. I like putting sea salt in my hair even though I have no waves and curls whatsoever. Even when I just have plain straight hair and it just gives it like a messy like tousled look. But also for these waves I use sea salt. The most amazing product that I found as a blonde here. This is from Captain Blinkenship. It's called Golden Waves Sea Salt Shimmer Spray. So it looks like this and then when you shake it up you can actually see the gold like floating around in there. So if you're blonde and you spray this in your hair and you go out in the sun, it is like, oh, like magic. I swear every time I put this in my hair, everyone was like, oh my gosh, I love your blonde. Where do you get it done? So um, this one smells weird. It's more like of a citrus scent to it. Um, but I don't care because I love it. And I just spray this all over and it just gives me like such a, a shiny, like shimmery gold color throughout my hair. It's not noticeable, it just makes it like shimmer, I guess, like a mermaid. So Captain Blankenship is actually, I just saw this, sold at Target. Um, they don't have this at Target, um, but they have some of their just like regular sea salt sprays there. So if you just need a regular sea salt spray, check that out. Also, they make that in other colors. There's like ones for redheads and brunettes, I believe. It's not like gold like that. It's sort of a different uh, shift in color. Um, but I bought mine. I bought mine for twenty eight dollars um, at Derm Store, and it is a hefty price. But you can get a smaller size, but I would recommend getting the bigger size because I use quite a bit. I do have longer hair, so it benefits me to have a bigger bottle because I'm just like dousing myself in that when I go out in the sun. Secondly, I love this brand so much. Everybody says the name differently, but for me, this is Davinus, and this is their sea salt spray. It smells so completely different than the Captain Blankenship. This one is like a vanilla uh, scent to it, and I feel like this bottle goes a lot longer than Captain Blankenship. It doesn't have the shimmer. 
but this sucker works really well and sometimes I even spray this in my hair if I don't want to do sea salt and just like after I get out of the shower because it adds extra volume without being sticky which is super important so this guy also is $28 as well. Sometimes you can find this on eBay for a little bit cheaper. Um, they also sell it on Amazon, but it's a little more expensive. But if you need it and you need it fast, Amazon. Um, I also think there are better ways to make your hair this wavy if you do like this summer beach vibe, this summer wavy hair thing that's going on and you're in a pinch or you have more time or you don't want to buy a waiver there are so many other ways you can do it you can wait until your hair is wet and like after you get out of the shower before you go to bed re-wet it if it's not already wet just make it a little bit more damp add sea salt i recommend but if you don't have the sea salt just leaving it wet and what i would do is i would section off my hair into four groups so i would do like one section up here i can't see myself one section here and one section down here and then do the same on the other side and then all you do is you twist it not a braid but a twist however tight you make your twist is how tight your waves are going to be sometimes i just twist and i don't use the waver because i don't know i don't want to damage my hair i don't want it to be as crunchy as it could be so i'll just go like this and i just twist the hair and I like kind of looser ways, otherwise I look like a giant poodle and sometimes I feel like that when I use a waiver anyway, but I love it. So then I twist it. I don't go down too far because I don't want my whole ends to be all twisty. And then I just twist it like this while it's damp with a little bit of sea salt in it. And you can leave it like this or you can kind of like wrap it up this and put, put it up. Go to sleep with it. I mean, your husband, partner, boyfriend, whatever is going to love it so much when you have four of them all around your head. And I do four of them all the way around like this, you know, so they're up like this. And then the next morning when you wake up and you take these all out, your hair does have like a natural wave to it already. And sometimes I'll do that the night before. And then the next day I'll just run it through with the waver really quick to add a little more volume to it. But you can do it that way too. And then you don't even have to do your hair because it's already been done for you the night before. And I think it's such a good summer beachy vibe and you don't even need products. It's free. Just some water, a little bit of time. You're good to go. So to top that all off, I used those two things together. Probably a lot of dry shampoo from three days before. And then I love this Kristen S texturizing spray. It smells so good. And then I spray this all over once I have waved my hair and sort of made it like, like PC. And this just gives it that fluffy texture that makes it just look like I have so much body when I really don't. So um, this Kristen S texture spray, I just bought at Target. Um, and it's well worth it. And it smells super good. Okay, next, body stuff. So I'm big time into the glow this year and the feeling of having glowy dewy skin is like all I want to do with my makeup. Um, but it's also important to protect yourself from the sun, which I know everyone talks about all the time. And I love being tan and where I live it is hot all the time. Like eight months out of the year it is super hot. So even if I love being in the sun a whole lot I have to be careful. And when I have to be in the sun, which is like often, um, I use some sunscreen. This is amazing. This is super goop sunscreen, glow stick sunscreen. So you can put this underneath your makeup, underneath your primers, whatever, and it's 50 SPF and it glows. Like it makes you glow. It doesn't have this weird greasy leftover texture that you would get from a normal sunscreen. It's just like clear, but glowy. It's clear, but glowy. It's awesome. I'll have to show you like one day and like put it on my skin so you actually see what it looks like as it comes across your skin. This is $25, but it lasts you for a really long time. And if you're going into summer and you live somewhere where it's super hot and you're out a lot, this is worth the investment, especially if you love that dewy, glowy look, which, you know. I'm not saying you should go out and tan, and I'm not saying I go out and tan, but this is awesome. I just recently got this. This is Bali Beauty or Bali Beauty, I don't know how you say it, but I got it from Ulta. It's only a 6 SPF, and they call it a tanning oil, but really it's just like an oil, and I got the pineapple scent, but they have tons of other scents, like amazing scents, but I just really want to smell like a pineapple, so I got the pineapple. And it smells so good, but it's like a like a manufactured like Bonnebel lip smackers type pineapple. 
but I just use it because I like the way it looks when I put oil on my skin and I'm very dry so I just slather this up on my legs and my arms and I smell like a pineapple and my skin is nice and moisturized and I like it. I don't use it for tanning, but I still think it's really good body oil just to use um, and smell good. And it doesn't stay sticky. This goes for $22.95. I got it on a sale at Ulta though. So use your bucks, your points or whatever. And then um, they also have a bronzing oil that I want to try and I haven't yet, but I want to. Into the bronzing section. Obviously I'm going to be out in the sun. I tan super quickly. Um, but I don't want to just be out in like a piece of bacon. So I like to self tan more than anything. I love being tan. So I have tried so many self tanners and this is what I've narrowed it down. I know I'm going to sound like a broken record because if you're on YouTube at all and you watch any beauty YouTuber, they're going to be talking about loving tan. But seriously, this stuff is awesome. A lot of people talk about like the two hour express where you take a shower and you wash it all off and I have that and I like it and it's okay, but I don't want to sit around waiting for two hours. So I put this on and that's it. I just put this on. I have it in the dark and for me that works because I am naturally a little bit tanner anyway. So I just put this mousse all over and it is amazing. It doesn't leave tons of streaks. I just make sure I know what I'm doing when I'm doing and I've had a lot of practice. So um, I apply this. And I swear everyone tells me, oh my gosh, you're so tan. And I'm like, it's self tanner. And no one can believe that I have self tanner. Yes, the cap is disgusting. This is how all loving tan caps look every time I use them. I don't know, but $35 and it does last me quite a while. I mean, if you're self tanning every single freaking day, then maybe not, but I probably only do it once I get out of the shower. And as a mom, that's not happening as much as it should. Secondly, Bondi Sands or Bondi or however you want to say Bondi Sands has an oil. Like I said before, I am super, super dry and oil is the way to go for me. So um, I just spray this on on top of whatever a tan I've already put on and I just spray this and sort of rub it in. And this one smells like coconuts. It does have a small self tanning scent at the end, but it's worth it because this stuff looks super natural. It doesn't come off really dark and you can just spray it and sort of blend it in and I don't know. I just like it. I like it a lot. And this bottle lasts forever. I've had one bottle that took me like a year to use and I tan a lot because I need to be tan, which I've already mentioned. This Bondi Sands is $24. Um, they do sales quite often. So I would check their sales too, because you can normally get this for cheaper than $24 and paying full price, but it's worth it. Spray a little bit of oil. I know not very many people talk about this and some people really hate it, but I am a big time believer in the Jergens wet skin tanning. I think this stuff is awesome. I love the smell and I never get out of the shower without using this. And I think it really does help. This one is the firming um, one and I've just started kind of trying this one out, but I love this stuff. I really do. And I think it works. And I mean, you can't beat the price. This is at Target for like eight bucks. So you just keep using this. I have it in the darker one anyway. So if you're looking to get it going and you want to, you know, get tanner quicker, maybe just start off with the dark one. If you're fairer, they have a lighter shade. Um, but this is super worth it. I swear by this. Some people are like, really? And I'm like, yes, really. This stuff is bomb. I like it a lot. Anyway, those are all my products that I feel like are amazing for this summer. And I really hope you guys leave some comments down below for me. Let me know summer products that you like. I love hearing about products. I like hearing about things I've never tried. I want to hear more. So please let me know what other things that you have tried. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to get to talking about makeup and beauty products and stuff over the summer. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I have so many more videos coming up and I have so many more great ideas and I'm just really excited to be in this space and I don't know. This is an exciting new journey and this is a, a channel that I hope can be positive and fun. Hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.